first got the word of the senator's nomination last night? Well, I was watching television, so I suppose at the same time everyone else did. Uh, did you think that he would get it on the first ballot? I hoped he would, but I didn't know. And he telephoned me before the balloting, then right after it, and then about 5.30 in the morning. Do you have any vacation plans when he comes home? Yes, we plan to take his vacations here until Congress goes into session. We hope to take it in our own house. Is your baby due before Inauguration Day? Uh, when's Inauguration Day? <laughs> The subject conversation between you and the senator when he called. Well, the first words. Hello, isn't it wonderful? Do you think so? Yes. Nothing that made very much sense. Just happy people. I understand that at one time you uh, were a roving photographer in Washington. Is that right? That's right. Do you? Uh, do you? Uh, does all of this bother you at all? I'd rather be on that end of it than this. I think. <laughs> Have you ever been in the White House on a visit or? Well, yes, I've been there every year. The Senate, Mrs. Eisenhower gives a lunch to the Senate ladies, the wives of the senators, so I've been there for lunch. Uh, what do you think of the White House? Would it be a good place to set up housekeeping? Would it be workable as a home for a year? <laughs> well, I think if it turned out that way, you'd have to make it so. you want a boy or a girl, or is it make it doesn't make any difference. Do you have any names picked up? No, I don't. Is Not Caroline yet. aware of what happened last night with Mr. Kennedy? No, she's really too little to be aware. She knows his excitement, but she doesn't know why. Did she stay up and watch television with you last night? No. Who's the time this dress that you were wearing? Too? I don't know. I just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> In the store? <laughs> the question just a moment ago was, uh, where do you buy your clothes? May I ask you that? I buy them here and there. I'm always traveling, so I never get it very well organized. I see. Just with luck. Do you expect to meet the senator at the airport Sunday night? I'd like to. Depends how many of you will be there. <laughs> you say that you won't be actively campaigning with the senator. Will you be helping him write speeches or anything like that? No, but I think running a house around a, a man as busy as my husband is always a full-time job. And then I have my daughter. Then I'm sure that I won't have too much time in my hands. Kennedy, as a father, would you call the senator a strict disciplinarian? Or is uh, Caroline a disciplinarian left your side? Well, he's strict, but he's very affectionate as I try to be, too. Do you see the role of the First Lady as a more active role these days than it has been for other presidents? I think it depends very much on the First Lady. Everyone has to be themselves. Mrs. Kennedy, you're probably watching the vice presidential uh, position at the moment. Who would you say, in your opinion, would be the likely money mate for the senator? I haven't any idea, so tonight I think will be almost as suspenseful as last night. I like everyone. <laughs> We'd like to thank you very much for being so gracious and talking to us this morning. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. Is there anything you'd like to say before we close? I'd like to thank you all for being so nice and considerate. May I ask you one more thing? That's a beautiful necklace. I don't know whether it picks up on camera or not, but uh, would you tell us what it is? It's just gray stone. Nothing very special. Looks very nice. Thank you. You're welcome.